introduction about vitamin A that it is chemically known as retinol, retinol and retinaldehyde. Another form of vitamin A is retinoic acid. Retinoic acid having all the activities except it has no any visual uh, function uh, as other vitamins are containing. As far as its occurrence is concerned, this vitamin is uh, found in nature most abundantly in the animal kingdom. And the highest concentration of vitamin A is found in fish liver oil, shark, cod liver oil, milk, meat, cheese, butter. In plant, vitamin A is also found but in a pro-vitamin form. It is not the active one. It is not the active one. I am letting you know it is carotene, beta carotene. I already told you. Okay. So in plant vitamin A which is uh, present in the pro vitamin or precursor form it is carotene or beta carotene. It is found in all those vegetables and fruits which are colored for example uh, carrots, spinach, corn, potatoes, peaches. If we uh, talk about daily recommended allowance of vitamin A and if we just take the daily recommended allowance of women and men at the age of 14 to 18 uh, about 2,333 international unit is required for the female at this age while at the same age the men required 3,000 uh, international unit. Almost all the vitamin daily recommended allowance is distributed on the basis of their age and sex. Now come to types of vitamin A. There are three different types of vitamin A which I already told you that vitamin A1, vitamin A2 and retinoic acid. Vitamin A1 is of two types on the basis of its chemical structure. One is retinol, another one is retinol. Retinol is that vitamin A1 which contain aldehyde group as a functional group in the side chain of its chemical structure. While retinol is the form which contain hydroxyl group in the side chain. All these vitamins are very essential for the development of growth, teeth and bones. And we already discussed the major sources of this vitamin is from the animal kingdom, not the plant kingdom. Vitamin A2, it is chemically known as 3-D-hydroxyretinol and it possesses about 40% of activities of vitamin A1 and it is also available in the animal tissues for example fresh water fishes tissues containing vitamin A2 retinoic acid retinoic acid is uh, it is consisting of carboxylic group in the side chain and this is containing almost all the functions just like vitamin A1 except visual function. It is used for the treatment of basically acne vulgaris. Its derivative all trans retinoic acid which is known as phrenitoin. Phrenitoin or retinoic acid it inhibits keratinization and it decreases sebum secretion. It can also utilize for the removal of wrinkles, which we have already discussed in our previous class. Phrenitoin is used as a local application in the form of creams and lotion. There is another form of retinoic acid, which is known as 13 cis retinoic acid. It is available in oral, oral formulation. It is available in oral formulation and we can use it by oral route of administration for the same purpose that is treatment of acne vulgaris. Now come to beta carotene which is a pro vitamin uh, or a preliminary form of vitamin A. It is not the active form. How we can differentiate and how we can identify if you see the chemical structure of all the type of vitamin A. Retinol, as I said, that there is a benzene ring and a side chain. The side chain is containing hydroxyl group, so it is termed as retinol. While retinol, it is aldehydic in nature because the side chain is containing aldehydic group, while retinoic acid containing carboxylic group. As far as beta carotene is concerned, 
beta carotene is basically a symmetrical structure which is consisting of two molecule of retinol upon cleavage and those both these uh, compounds are joined together by the aldehydic linkage when it cleave it will give you two retinol molecule you can see in the structure beta carotene is very active antioxidant and it is a very potent antioxidant that's why it is responsible to stop the production of free radical and we have already discussed that free radical injury is the main cause for the cancer development and other problems which are associated with the cardiovascular diseases